Hi beautiful person watching this video. My name is Asia. If you didn't know, now you know. So let's get into the video. So for today's video, I'm coming at you all crusty, lips not moisturized, okay, face not moisturized, hair not done. I'm coming at you in my natural state. Dude, I didn't turn my light on. Boom. Y'all see the difference? I'm running out of foundation, so I squeezed... I put a couple pumps of my mom's foundation in here. Hopefully she doesn't notice. And I'm just gonna be getting ready with you guys um, to film a video. So now that, you know, it's quarantine season or whatever, and I finally figured out a little filming setup. So it's gonna be my filming setup for like a long time. Um, this is where I will be filming and recording all of my videos. It's a small little corner in my room like yeah i'm going to be right back i'm gonna moisturize my face and my lips and do my edges and i will be right back okay oh shit all right hey guys what's up so i have my cup of foundation i'm gonna apply my foundation and i did my edges and I moisturize my face. I'm using the TikTok hack that y'all have heard of. I tried it yesterday and I recorded my Netflix suggestions video and I really think my makeup turned out good. It turned out dewy, but nice. So I really liked it. So I'm gonna do the same thing. So I just put, I moisturize my face with shea butter and then I use this um, HD Flawless Setting Powder, Absolute New York, and looks like that. And then I use this setting spray and then I used my e.l.f. primer and now I'm applying my foundation okay I'm just gonna do like one little press in here and that's all the foundation that I'm using for my face today because I already told y'all I don't have a lot of foundation so I'm just stippling this in So the way that I do my makeup is I don't blend it. Like I don't do my foundation in the top part of my face because I do my eyebrows first. So I'm just blending out on the bottom. And this is MAC foundation. The foundation that I used before, the everything is rubbed off of it. So I can't, I don't know, but it's, I know this is Black Radiance. This is the Black Radiance foundation. This was like $3 and it's really good. It's lasted me a long time, but I don't have anything in there anymore, so. So, what has everybody been up to during this um, pandemic? Um, I hope you guys are staying safe and you guys are doing and being well. I was very anxious. Let me sit closer. But I was like very anxious a little minute ago. But And I was talking to my sister about it because she came back from um, university. And so she's spending the rest of the semester here because of everything that's going on. But as you guys know, I am class of 2020. Dang. My eyebrows are like oily. As y'all know, I'm class of 2020. And so graduation, prom, all of the thrillers of your senior year is kind of being like taken away and that sucks for me and i'm also like the type to be really i don't know i struggle with anxiety so when all this was first happening i was really like anxious about it and i was like oh my gosh is the world coming to an end like are we all gonna die but i feel you know now that research shows that you know the survival rate is pretty high and everything i'm okay but um, my sister was telling me that she feels as though this whole pandemic was like a way for the universe or God or whatever your higher power is 
to like give everybody a break. I'm not super happy about the timing. I wish that this would have happened like in the, in the winter, like November, December. I wish that's when this would have started. I mean, then if that's when, it, well, then like Christmas would be canceled. So I don't know, but I wish this just happened like in the fall maybe of last year, but not now because it's like now, it's just like so much is supposed to be happening and it's all getting canceled because of this and it's a total inconvenience but it's life so that's okay but yeah but i feel like this was the universe's way of saying like of giving everybody a moment to just get their shit together and i feel like that's what we needed we needed this you know, we needed this social distancing and this, like, not going to work, not going to school to just get our minds right. Because I don't know if it was just me. Well, I know it wasn't just me because I had been feeling, like, really, I don't know. But I feel like this is a good time to just kind of mentally reset. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, like, this is a good opportunity to just mentally reset and do some inner work you know start doing the things that you said that you were gonna do on new year's because i was like 2020 is gonna be my year and honestly 2020 kind of has been my year because 2019 was the worst year of my entire life like so much happened and it was just it was not a good year for me, y'all. It just wasn't a good year for me. And 2020 has been so much better and it's been treating me good and it's been like everything is kind of like falling into play. It's kind of like all the BS that I dealt with in 2020 is like finally paying off. I mean, in 2019 is finally paying off. So, you know, that's good. But sometimes when I'm bored, I watch like makeup videos where um, someone will like do their client and they'll like talk through like everything that they do. And a lot of times they say to like do the brows in sections, but I don't do that. Maybe I should do my brows in sections. But yeah, like I was saying, I feel like this whole pandemic is the perfect time to just reset. So if you are like me, and you've been feeling a little bit anxious about everything that is happening, everything that is going on in the world, you know, just take it and have a bit more of like a positive connotation with everything and just kind of use what is happening as like an excuse to just get your life together, to just get your crap together. Because I feel like We've all been needing this. Like we've been needing this opportunity to just sit with ourselves and really connect. I have a tendency to make my brows super thick and I do not like thick brows like on me. Cause y'all, I used to have my brows so thick. Like I need to insert some pictures here or something of me having super thick brows. Cause that was not cute. But for some reason I make my brows thick on accident, so. I think I just have the thick mindset. See, like, why are my brows so thick? Like, why do I make them things so thick, bruh? That's better. Okay, so that I can blend properly. I'm not really talking much, guys. Like, I'm not as lit as I was in my other get ready to film with, like, get, what was it, get ready with me video? Yeah, I feel like I've said everything that I did want to say in this video, which is just to, like, you know, stay safe. Um... But also, like, just kind of use this time. I feel like I've said this so many times now in this video, but just use this time to get your shit together. And that's what you just need to see this as. See it as an opportunity to take a break. I'm going to watch either The Office or The Good Place. I've kind of been alternating in between those. So I will come back to you guys when everything is done. And yeah. All right, guys, this is the makeup look. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I finished 
doing my makeup. The lip gloss that I'm wearing today is this Ruby Rose. This is the lip gloss that I wear pretty much every day, but it's this Ruby Rose um, red tinted lip gloss. And it's kind of like sparkly on the inside, but it's like raspberry flavored. And I absolutely love this stuff. Um, yeah, you can get this at Melanin Bliss Cosmetics on Instagram. We have our website launching soon, so you can order on our website as well. Um, but yeah, and also same for the lashes. The lashes you can get on Melanin Bliss Cosmetics on Instagram. Um, we'll show you the three different lash styles that we have. So this is the first pair. Second pair. This is the third pair. So yeah, you can get all these pairs of lashes. You can get them from Melanin Bliss Cosmetics on Instagram. Support small businesses. But yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, or if you made it to the end of this video, comment papaya so I know it's real. Um, give this video a huge, huge, huge thumbs up. Comment down below what you want to see next. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already subscribed. And don't forget to turn on those post notifications so that you can be notified every time I post a new video. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!